Hey guys, Sensor Five Hundred Thirty One, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Lego Ninjago Seven Zero Five Zero Zero Kai's Fire Mech. So you just six to fourteen. It's one hundred and two pieces, and it retails for ten dollars. So right on the money, literally. Price per piece ratio: one hundred and two pieces, ten bucks is a good deal. Anyways, um, you get two mini figures with this set. Um, one of which is exclusive, and the other one you get in like three other sets too. And, um, anyway, so the, here's the turntable of awesomeness. And um, the first minifig we get is Kai, and he's exclusive to this set. Um, he follows the same basic outline as um, all the other kimono ninjas. Um, he's got his elemental symbol. And it's got like the robe kind of running down there, and, like those clip things, the belt, sash, whatever, and this, um, like some wrinkles or whatever that is. And um, red arms, red mask. And, um, yeah, it's pretty. Um, and you got some different um symbols from the other ninjas. Each one has a different symbol. Including the um, including um Lloyd. In fact, both version, both kimono versions of Lloyd have different symbols. So yeah, um, so um, there's um his face, He's got the scars and the wrinkle for like you know, and yeah. Um, this is this is probably the least diverse version of the ninja. But, um, the the most being ZX. But still, um, yeah, I uh, I I like this figure. Um, this is my favorite version of Kai. And yeah, the elemental blade, which is pretty much the same thing as the sword of fire, because I mean, it's a sword of the fire element. But yeah. Anyways, yeah, so there's Kai. And next we get um a stone scout. Uh -uh. They had this guy at um my local um my local Lego store, which um it's not actually run by Lego. But um it, it's called Bricks and Minifigs. Let me know in the comments if you've heard of that. I had these guys. These guys are the most common. And, um, he has the short black legs, so obviously no printing. He has the um, standard stone army to torso, black arms. Um, he's got the same standard design in yellow. Red Sensei Wu hat. Actually, um... Yeah, take off the head and just got a red quiver. And on the back, you got some designs. This is great for just a generic samurai. And if you wanted to make like a Japanese battle scene, this would be really good for a samurai, a actual human samurai. Yeah, put the quiver back on, and he's got the crossbow, of course. And yeah. Yeah, that's it for the minifigs. Um, onto the mech. The mech is um the it's pretty much the only features that it's posable. Yeah, so um you got joints here, 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 and here, of course. Here, 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 and then on the fingers. Um, yeah, um. Let's, let's have a little look at the fingers. The fingers are a little bit different than some of Lego's other mechs. Well, on the samurai mech, the finger is positioned here. Um, it, um, Lego did it differently, and this is also what they did on the skull truck. Yeah, I I I like this design better. Anyways, you got to. Um, no, no printing in the set, unfortunately. Just some stickers, but they're they're not a pain to put on for once. 
So here, um, you got like some let's see, water, snow, a phone, like a hazmat symbol, fire extinguisher, water, bomb, electrical charge. I don't know. Uh, um, you got his fire symbol on the wrist, and same here. Uh, um, and the um. On the back, you got another sticker right here. It's just a tile. Um, like I've added a little gag. There's a bug peeking out, which is kind of weird. Um, and yeah, and you got some flames right here. And um, and up here. Um, you got these. I'm just gonna move them down. They're not supposed to move, but they do. Um, you got, like, the finger piece again. And a katana. So that, that's pretty much it for that. You got some blades on each arm. Hero Factory pieces. Um, you can take Kai and, you know, prop him in the cockpit. We all know how that works. And, um, yeah, and you got the arm right here. And um, the cool thing is that Lego included this piece. Um, what you're supposed to do is you you take the elemental blade, flip the blade itself with the hilt oh, oh, on the other side of the hilt and you pop and that way you can pop the hilt right here and put it in the mech's hand and yeah uh, it doesn't clip into place like the samurai mech I don't know if Leo did that on purpose or not Well, obviously they did, but I, I don't know what, if they just did that for a changer because people hated the clip thing. Um, anyways, yeah. And then you got blasters right here. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah. Um, before I go, my bad. I just kind of thought I'd show you. Um, it does hold the stone warrior perfectly. Well, not perfectly, but you know. Yeah, as I was saying before, I rudely interrupted myself. Rate, comment, subscribe. And, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.